everyone, this is Kyle at runrepeat.com and today we're going to be talking about this shoe, the Hoka One One Sky Arcali and is what I call a Hoka hybrid outdoor shoe. Um, great for those adventure seekers out there. A few key specs here, what you're looking at is a men size 9 at weighing in at 15.24 ounces with a 5 millimeter heel to toe drop. The midsole features uh, Hoka's patented fly foam technology offering more rigidness in the forefoot region and then uh, cushioning things up a little more in the midfoot and heel region. We've got a very nice Vibram Mega Grip uh, tread pattern on the bottom outsole with 5mm lugs that are spread out enough where um, I didn't have any issues with uh, debris getting stuck in there whatsoever. As far as this shoe features, um, we have climb shoe-like lengthened lacing system going on here, and uh, a really neat feature up to the ankle end point of the laces. Once you tie that shoe, you have in the tongue a lace pocket where you're able to simply um, take your knot, take the laces, and just tuck them in there and tuck them away and you don't have any uh, potential accidents or hazards with your laces getting tangled in debris out on uh, trails or in the in the wood. That all is combined with the ankle strap covering the lace pocket so you can tighten this link, tighten this, loosen this, customize your ankle support there with Hoka's ankle strap. Very nice feature and Coming to the back, we have a nice heel strap offering a little more structure and lock down in the heel. So you don't have any of that potential slipping, sliding, um, and also lateral movement of the foot is decreased uh, with this nice lockdown. I felt like I wasn't sliding or slipping laterally in the shoe at all. It gave it a little more lateral support. <clears throat> And overall, this neoprene upper was very comfortable, very nice and flexible on the top of the foot. I had no blistering whatsoever. Hoka does not claim that this is a waterproof shoe. In fact, they state on their website that this is not a waterproof material used to make and construct this shoe. Although I didn't have much of a issue with water passings outdoors through some creeks and streams, um, I did notice it's a few splashes of water um, penetrating through the upper and seeping in on the top of the foot, but nothing overall um, was an issue. Now, if you're out on long, extended daily hikes with um, a chance of uh, various weather conditions, I would probably recommend more of a waterproof uh, material shoe out there. Now, what's great about this shoe is that you can take it out and go on runs. I found this out because given the fact that you have 15.2 ounce shoe, which is significantly lighter than most hiking boots, um, I was able to actually get this shoe off the ground more um, into a more traditional running gait. In fact, I actually ran 5Ks, 10Ks, up to 15Ks in this shoe and didn't have any as far as knee issues or anything going on there. Um, in fact, I thought it was a great trainer. Um, once you got this shoe off and into regular running shoes, um, you just felt really light and quick and uh, your your knee height was uh, a little higher than, than um, not using these prior to that run. Overall, uh, as far as taking them out and performing in them, um, I went on steep ascents with loose rocks, uh, cliffs, scrambling, um, loose terrain. They performed really well. I had um, some wet conditions in post-rain uh, trail conditions where there were wooded areas um, and limbs and branches down. Uh, as well as wet rocks and Vibram really um, pulled through and uh, protected me through this outer sole and offered stable grip um, throughout um, the forefoot and to the heel. So I was really proud of him for delivering on, on the Mega Grip outsole. As far as protection, 
great protection with the rubber in the, in the forefoot area. Again, no issues there. As far as design, I think it looks great. The uh, cyan, or I'm sorry, the citrus and black and, and blue, um, all of that um, integrated together with a cool upper design. I just think it looks great. And the lightweightness of this shoe, it makes it very versatile. And again, why I consider it a very hybrid um, adventure shoe. Um, another last key component I feel like this makes uh, the Hoka stand out and is very durable are the eyelets that are um, reinforced rubber eyelets um, that are just extremely durable um, and I don't feel like are going to have any chance of ripping or tearing. Overall I felt like my experience in this shoe was great on uh, recreational trails that are level ground up to a uh, very steep uh, 45 degree and uh, higher angled descents and um, ascending lines that um, took a lot of approach techniques just to get up. So um, I feel like you guys should try this out if you're looking for a nice lightweight daily hiker and a versatile um, hybrid shoe. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other reviews on our Run Repeat channel and website. And feel free to share your thoughts and experience with the new Hoka One One Sky Arcali and any other Hoka One One shoe out there and by leaving a comment below. And I hope you guys have a great running day. Thank you.